today we are going to learn about the color wheel and we're going to make this cute little spider web and spider. Um, so this is what's going to look like when we're done. Color wheel in the background and then we'll draw our spider. So we're going to start off with a little bit of our spider web and we're going to turn this into a color wheel. So we're going to do our primary colors first and we know that our primary colors are yellow, red, and blue. So we're going to start up here on this one. So everybody find this one right here and put your finger on it. We're going to paint this our very first primary color and we're going to paint it yellow. So we're going to get our brush, make sure our brush is nice and clean, rub our drippy off on the edge, and then we're going to find our yellow and we're going to dip our brush in our yellow. Now do we dip the whole brush in? No, we just dip our tip in and we make sure we try to keep those bristles together because uh, they're best friends. So we want to keep them together and we're going to paint this little wedge here, like a little pizza slice. We're going to paint it yellow. So go ahead and paint the whole thing. Uh, let's try to stay in your line. Let's paint it yellow. All right, smooth it out, nice and smooth. Now, once we're done painting our yellow, what do we need to do with our brush? Yeah, it's dirty, so we need to wash it. So we're gonna stick our brush into our cup. We're gonna push it all the way down to the bottom and we're gonna stir it like hot soup. Now, we don't wanna splash hot soup because it'll burn us. So, we're gonna stir gently, and then we're gonna rub those drippies off on the edge. Okay, so we'll go back to our color wheel. We're gonna do another primary color, which is red. So we're gonna skip a pizza wedge here. So we got our yellow, we're gonna skip one. Everybody put your finger there. We're gonna say skip, and then go to the next one. So put your finger on this one. We're gonna paint this one red. So go ahead and dip your brush in the red. And let's paint this little pizza wedge red. Paint the whole thing, don't leave any white spots showing. Now when we're done with our brush, what do we need to do? We need to wash it. So let's go ahead and dip it in our cup all the way to the bottom. Stir like hot soup and then rub that drippy off on the edge. Now what's our last primary color? We've done yellow, we've done red, what's next? It's blue, so we're gonna skip one again. So we're gonna skip this one, everybody put your finger on there, say skip, and go down to this one right here. This is gonna be our blue, so go ahead and paint this little spot blue. Get a little on the table, that's okay. We're gonna wash it up. All right, once we're done with our blue, what do we need to do? Wash our brush, so go ahead, put it in the bottom, stir like hot soup, rub your drippy off on the edge. No tapping, we don't want to splatter. Okay, let's do our secondary colors. That is when we oh, sorry. mix. Let's do our secondary colors. That's when we mix two primary colors together. So let's take two. So what if we have our yellow and our red? What happens when we mix together yellow and red? We get orange, that's right. So we don't actually need to mix our colors because we have an orange. So we're gonna paint that spot in between the yellow and red orange to show that when we mix together yellow and red, we get the color orange. So we're gonna keep this right in between those two colors and paint this spot orange. When we're finished with this, what do we need to do? We need to wash our brush off, stir it like hot soup, rub our drippy off on the edge. All right, what happens when we mix together yellow and blue? What secondary color do we get? Yeah, we get green. So in between the yellow and blue, we're gonna paint that little wedge here green. So go ahead and get your green.
All right, let's wash that brush, stir like hot soup, rub our drippy off on the edge, no tapping. Okay, we got one more spot, and it's for our last secondary color. What happens when we mix together blue and red? We get purple, so we're going to paint that spot in between the blue and red. All right, so we are finished with our color wheel. We're gonna wash our brush off, rub our drop drippy off on the edge, and we're gonna lay our brush down on our tray. We're not gonna leave our brush in the water because it will ruin our brush. Now we have some wet art. What do we need to do with our wet art? Well, we're gonna carry it over to our drying rack, um, and we're gonna carry it like we would a lunch tray. Uh, now, will we carry a lunch tray like this? No, we would use our thumbs to hold our lunch tray nice and tight. So we're gonna use our thumbs and then carry it over to our drying rack so we do not drop this. All right, and the next week, we will make this into a spider web. Okay, we are going to take our color wheel that we made last week and we are going to turn this into a spider web um, with a spider. So we're going to start off using our oil pastels and we're going to go around this and draw a rainbow shape. Okay, we know what a rainbow shape. Everybody use your finger and let's draw a rainbow shape in the air. Um, it is a upside down U shape. Okay, so it's just up and then back down like a curve. That's all this is. It's lots and lots of rainbow shapes or U shapes. And we're gonna go around this, we're gonna do it together. So we're gonna get our color wheel and we're gonna just pick a spot to start. And we're gonna come out just a little bit. Put this in to see. And we're gonna go from one line to the other drawing a U shape or a rainbow shape. So I'm gonna go here and go all the way up and then back down to the other line and then we're going to do the same thing going from this line to this line so i'm going to draw a rainbow shape now if you want to turn your paper you can do that draw a rainbow shape we're going to go in a circle draw a rainbow shape i'm going to go to the orange rainbow shape and then we're gonna go to the yellow and do a rainbow shape and it goes to the other one. So see how we made our first loop of our spider web and all we did was draw rainbow shapes. Well, we're gonna do this again, but we're gonna come down a little bit further down and we're gonna do the exact same thing, but these are gonna be a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna start on this side of the yellow. I'm gonna do a rainbow shape up and then back down to the other side of the yellow. Then I'm gonna turn it and make another rainbow shape. And then turn it and another, another rainbow shape. We're gonna do this until we get all the way around to the other side and we're gonna connect them again. So the orange, I'm gonna connect the red to the yellow with rainbow shapes. All right, let's do it again, but make it even bigger. So come down and then make another big rainbow shape this time. Turn up, rainbow shape to the other side. Just gonna keep doing this until we get all the way to the other side and we connect them. What do you think we're gonna do next? We're gonna go down and make another one even bigger. Big rainbow shapes. All it is is a big U shape to the other side. All right, let's do it again. Let's make it even bigger. Oh. You might be running out of room. If so, you can just put your line where you think it might go. 
or you can stop and that can be enough. All right, so I, don't, I think I'm gonna stop there and that'll be my spider whip. Okay, so you can turn your paper whichever way you want it to be. It can be horizontal, side to side, or it can be vertical, up and down. But wherever your paper is, I want you to find your yellow wedge, your yellow spot. That's where we're gonna draw our spider. And we're gonna draw this together. And I am making this cute little cartoony looking spider. He's kind of a cute little fella. But if you are really good at drawing spiders, you may want to make a more real spider with a head and a body. Um, it's up to you. If you're not as good at drawing spiders, and you can just stay with me and we'll draw this cute little cartoon spider. So to draw this, we're gonna start off by drawing a big, nice, neat circle. Okay. Inside this circle, we're gonna draw his eyes. And to draw that, we're gonna draw two circles next to each other. Just like that. And then we're gonna put his little pupils in there, which is another circle. So we're just gonna draw another circle right in the middle of his eye. Just like that. That's his eyes. Now we're gonna color him in. So you don't have to push real hard. Just go around your spider and color the whole circle in around your spider. All right. Well, what's he missing? He needs his legs. How many legs does a spider have? Does anybody know? They have eight. So we're going to draw eight little legs. You can draw your legs however you want, going in any direction that you want. And there is my spider. He's a cute little fella. All right. We are going to stick this in our folder at our table. So find your table folder and go ahead and open it up and stick this inside and then pass it to your neighbor because they're going to put theirs inside as well.